here. I'm Brooke Osteen, occupational therapist with SRT Prosthetics and Orthotics. And I'm Renee Van Veld. I'm also working for SRT Prosthetics and Orthotics. I am a physical therapist. And in this video, we are going to go through the steps of what is a Connect TF and how does it work. The Connect TF is an adjustable socket system for the transfemoral amputee patient. It is a sub-ischial socket design. It allows for us to adjust for the height or of the patient or the length of the residual limb, and also for any changes in residual limb volume. I'm Mill Robinson from Indianapolis. I'm gonna show you how I put on uh, my prosthetics. So one of the nice things about the Connect TF is that you can don them in a seated position. However, there are a couple of steps and tips and tricks to prepare yourself, if you will, to get your legs on. First thing, get rid of the leg rests. They just end up getting in your way. Second thing, don't forget to lock your wheelchair. Brakes on at all times. Third thing, if you've got an armrest that you can recline out of your way, it is most easiest if you do so. Fourth thing is if they have shorts on, you may want to make sure they're really hiked up or that they are flexible enough to pull over the top of the socket so it doesn't prevent the socket from fully going on your residual lip. The fifth thing is when the socket slides on, and Mill's a champion at this, just watch in just a few moments. When you don the socket, make sure that residual limb is up nice and high so that the socket doesn't then on the backside run into your wheelchair. All right, Mill, let's do it. First thing I do is get the 45 degree position to make it easier. And this is where you're gonna see Mill pull his shorts over top of the socket. Another tip or trick here might be to use biker shorts. So like a pin system, Mill is gonna line the pin up with the end of the socket. Once it's in the shuttle lock, he merely turns the dial, the dial pulls the pin into the lock and Mill is now secured into the socket. To adjust the tightness of it, there is a lever arm. You're going to push the lever away from the patient and you are now cinched in based on your girth and the prosthesis is secure. I want to uh, put on my other one here and show you how the pin is used. I uh, normally put the liners on in bed without my shorts on. It's much more convenient get them where they belong, get the air out of the liner. I store my pen in the prosthetic. You simply thread it onto the liner, getting it started straight. It will thread very easily when it's uh, done correctly. Once you find the correct spot, very easy to thread on. The Connect TF is appropriate for many patients who are a little bit lower level and have a transfemoral level amputation because it can be donned in sitting. So especially for somebody like Mill who has bilateral amputations, it makes much more sense to be able to put it on in that position. Another nice thing about the Connect TF is that it can be fit virtually anywhere, whether the patient is in the office, at a facility, or even at their home, it can be fit in all of those locations. Another bonus is that there is a trial kit so as a therapist, if there's any question about whether or not your patient may or may not be a candidate, we do have a trial device that the patient can trial before we do an insurance authorization. I've also seen folks who have a unilateral uh, transfemoral level amputation with the Connect TF 
be able to don and get up much more quickly. So it's very encouraging from a mobility perspective. As an occupational therapist, there are several things that I really like about the Connect TF. The first is the ease of donning, that they can sit in their chair and they can get it on with ease. The second piece is the gap in the bottom where the patients actually can reach over and look and see where that pin is rather than trying to shove a lanyard through the bottom of the socket that they can't see or sometimes even feel. The other thing I like is the dial. It's much larger and oversized and easy to turn. And for our patients who might have some retinopathy issues or even just decreased vision, there is a texture on top of the button so that they can delineate exactly where that button is. And most importantly, as an OT, who doesn't like a lever, right? So being able to easily push away and cinch themselves into the socket makes it a complete system for some of our patients who might struggle with coordination and dexterity. I actually started with a single amputation and the older version of the socket that you had to put on standing up and letting the air out of the socket and all of that business. When I had my second amputation, I was fitted with a TF socket and the instant the technician put it on, I said, I want another one. And that's when I got the uh, matching TF to replace the original socket. So being able to put them on sitting down, pretty much unilateral, being able to do it by myself, um, made it a clear choice for me and a much preferable option.